previously on 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Back to 1945 where no one's left? Don't you see? It doesn't matter where we run. <laughs> Ugh. I liked it better when you were less knowledgeable. And now back to... What the f*** is this? What the f*** was that? What the f*** are you? Ah! Hello! The Sneak of Back with some more. 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim. When we last left off, I forgot I didn't choose. <laughs> I forgot I didn't choose scenario and complete it. I mean, well, really what happened was I went through some more of a, a story and a good chunk of Miura's. But I also, but I was like, how many series have I done? All right, I counted Yuki, Minami, Juro, and NG. All right, that's it. Oh, wait, no. I, I skipped over Shu. I'm sorry, Shu. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to forget about you. I didn't mean to forget. I'm really sorry. I enjoyed your scenario too. You're just standing on such a cliffhanger. I think I kind of forgot. But well, we did reach the uh, the locked point for both A and for uh, for Miura here, and they're just inches away from completing their scenarios. Yeah, so I gotta get Takatoshi, and I gotta get Takatoshi by getting someone one other person up to 80 percent, and then we'll be good to go. But we got a big thing, a huge thing, and that has now actually changed the structure of our analysis, showing us that yes. I was right. We are, in fact, not traveling through time at all. We are jumping to different sectors. And I am starting to think now that the the center of this spaceship that we're in, which is... I, okay, I, I, I sort of... When I kind of went back and re-looked at some stuff, some things I was sort of confused about kind of made, kind of became more clear. I, I So I think we're on this ship that is orbiting Earth, right? I think that's what, what's happening, is that we're all orbiting Earth. Or maybe a new Earth. I, I'm not sure. Um, and I think maybe the... Maybe the purpose behind this whole thing... Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, I think the purpose behind this whole thing was potentially to uh, escape the planet, right? Hang out up here until a new planet is found and put our DNA over there. Although, well, I don't know. They, they said that they were they, they could only send their DNA to that planet. So maybe they've already found that new planet and they're orbiting it. And maybe they were supposed to wait until the, the machines like finished like working on it down there. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure why we're still on the ship, seemingly, right? Like, why did we decide to start humanity? Well, maybe that, actually, maybe that's it. We're, we're making starting humanity inside the ship, and then once humanity is like back to normal, re relatively, we would we would leave, and then go to the new planet after we've like basically recreated humanity. We've already done it now multiple times, but the kaiju keep coming in and killing us. Yeah, that sounds actually more viable. But I am starting to think that Sector Zero is uh, the center of this five-leaf clover of ours. When I was looking back, we could see that they were saying the UFO is buried beneath us. It's not really, though. I, I think the UFO is basically next to them, to the side of them. I, I They thought it was buried beneath them, but for some reason. But there's a ton of misdirection in this game. Holy shit. Like, yeah, as you can point out, like, the, the fact that that clock appears, you know, that's going forward or backward, depending on where you're jumping in time. That is the biggest troll ever. No, that's just real. Damn it. But I do actually, I kind of love that they put that in there. I, I actually think that's a, that was a really smart one. It's fun. I, I like that. I always like seeing that whenever you quote unquote time travel somewhere, just seeing the clock go, woo. Something weirdly satisfying about it. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, James Hayden said, So funny thing is, with Ryoko and Goto, the reason why she apparently initiated the relationship with Goto is because she wanted to get her parents, who kept trying to separate her from A, to stop doing so. She always saw A as a little brother and didn't want to be split apart. So she basically attached herself to Goto in a seemingly romantic relationship to get them riled up over him instead, so they went back down over A. Once they did, she achieved her goal and broke up with him. As for Goto, he wasn't one for romance, but Ryoko's actions were something he couldn't predict or understand, which did intrigue him. Sadly, these details aren't in the game as they were cut, but the game's creator, George Kamatani, clarified things in an interview after release. Wow, that's really cool. That is kind of a shame that didn't, you know, sort of come to light. Yeah, that I, I was actually curious and I did read up about how there was... A, a fair amount of basically slice of life, extra kind of fluff about characters and stuff like that that was cut from the game. But I'm not sure whether like, I mean, that's really cool, but I'm also thinking, well, how would they fit that in the story, right? 
Uh, they could have fit it, I guess, into Ryoko's or to Goto's or maybe stuck it in a file or something. But like, I think what I like about this game and what's actually really benefiting it is the fact that it's not lingering too long on some of these uh, slice of life moments. Like it's giving us good characterization for everybody in the midst of the shit they're going through. Like fucking Kisaragi and Ninji getting stuck in the post-apocalypse and, you know, having to survive over there. Juro with, in his interactions with Kyutashiba. All these things that are part of the, the main plot of the story that isn't just like, uh, for example, like Iori hanging out with Kisaragi and Miwako and stuff and eating ice cream, talking about boys. And it's cute and it's fun and I, I don't mind it, but I think if they had too many of those, it might have started to break up the the whole mystery of the game and I don't know, maybe bogged it down too much. We were just like, after all, like, all right, come on, come on. But I could be wrong. Maybe they would have found a way to actually get it included in there and it would have been great and it wouldn't have like, you know, destroy the, the game's pacing, pacing at all. I don't know, it's just kind of hard to tell. So I just, you know, cut content happens. And I, I think maybe in this case, it was budgetary reasons, but so it's just dumb because they're like, you know what? It, the game's kind of like, the pacing's a little all over the place. I think if we just remove some of this stuff, it would actually make it better. So I think it's possible that might be the case, but hey, at least we have the game's creators then come in and tell us a little bit about uh, what their intentions were for some of these interactions. But James Hayden, thank you so much for your uh, informative comment. And it's for that reason you are our comment of the day. All right, so you guys also clarified a few other things that I sort of forgotten about, because I keep like, you know, it's like I come back to this game and by this point, some events happened like weeks and weeks ago. The reason why Ryoko was kind of hostile towards Yakushiji during that one battle was because because of that, that moment they had together where uh, Ryakushiji blamed Ryoko for not looking after uh, Juro during that battle, right? There's a, I, I forgot they actually did interact with each other a bit. They were a little bit pissy at each other. And Ryoko was also super possessive over that one sentinel. And they were saying, oh, we're going to give it to Yakushiji. And she's like, fuck her. No, you're not right oh and also there was some stuff that i was like i was acting like oh shit this is like some new information but it really wasn't uh mostly in regards to the idea that tetsuya ida is against the aegis system and uh whatever uh murimura is trying to do I, that was actually made pretty clear like pretty early on back when a and him were doing stuff together and he explained what the aegis system does where it basically ends the the looping mechanic that they have uh built in to this this world of ours. So we've actually known for a while that that Tetsu Ida has was against whatever Murimura is planning. That's right. I, I kind of forgot about that. There are an overwhelming number of plot points in this game that it can be really easy to, to forget that. Oh right, this is what this person's motivation is and what they're trying to to accomplish. And I think that's easily probably the biggest point of again, I don't know if I could say it's like a bad thing, because there's a, such a great mystery here, but my puny human brain it has signs a hard time keeping up with like all right in this instance what is Tetsuya Ida trying to do right what is he trying to accomplish in this instance what is Miramura trying to accomplish has her motivations changed Goto says she's now a different person so now now what does she want to accomplish you know it's like trying to keep up with what everyone it, like their goal their end game their reason for being you know it is in any one moment and that's why I you know checking to the analysis is so important but uh, I just, sometimes I have a hard time keeping up with it. I'm like, oh, fuck, that's right. Yeah, Tetsuya, you know, we already knew that. We already knew that he, he didn't like Murimura's plan and it was against it. Shit. So I apologize. I, I really try my best. That's why I keep checking back with uh, the analysis and I keep spending all this time just talking about what my theories are and putting it all together. So I, I hope you guys don't mind. I Maybe I couldn't even finish this game by now if I stopped talking about this shit and just, just play through the game. But I... It's just so fucking fun, man. I just, I love it. I really, I really want to understand as much of the story as I can because I'm just so engaged by it, you know? That's like my feeling. It's like, I want to get, I want to get everything that I can possibly get in this game. I am absolutely fucking platinuming this game, which I don't think is actually that hard. When I saw, I don't think there's anything in the, uh, the trophies that were, uh, at least uh, the ones that weren't hidden, that is like too crazy. Oh, right. And then the fact that actually almost all the trophies were like, there wasn't anyone that was like super rare, ultra rare, whatever that barely anyone's gotten, which leads me to believe that most of the trophies are probably really easy to get. Okay, so now what I want to do, um, where are we up to now? Are we up on, yeah, we're up to battle four. Okay, so I gotta get one more person up to 80% to finally get back to Takatoshi. Um, so I've got Kisaragi, I've got more Ryoko, Iori, who I feel like I haven't seen in like 30 years, uh, Megumi, and that's, that's it. It's basically just 
Uh, those four girls. Let's get back to Ryoko. She's the furthest along, closest to 80% here. Ryoko Shino may recall the day she quartered 426 in the science room. However, Asa Kikahara was neither 426 nor the culprit of the incident. Um, oh, right. And then they got transported uh, through time. Uh, yeah. And they got blasted through time. And that's where uh, she was for a while. And she, I think she was... She seemed like she was... Uh, not conscious from the majority of the time that they were there with Kisaragi and Nenji and them. Sure. I'm curious to see if maybe her event ends with like the conclusion to Shu story or, or whatever. Don't go! Easy. Take your time. Okay, this is all back to this again. Yeah, I'm guessing this must be after she came back. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Aikun is a year younger than me, and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? If Aiseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? It does seem like it was Juro that did that, since it's like literally called 426, right? Like DD 426. But what purpose would he have for doing that? <laughs> My head. Oh, fucking, are you kidding me? Come on, girl. We just started this. Sorry, I forgot I forgot she has that to worry about. Surveillance footage. Um Juro Karabe and something. Where are you going? I have no idea. Stop following me. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Because I'll say Oh god, go to again! I'd rather not say. So what's up? Right. Well has anyone suspicious tried talking to you recently? Uh, besides you? <laughs> I'd rather not. Uh. Oh, what sort of women do you like? Well, I... <laughs> what do you do on your days off? It's so fucking funny. Oh, shit, that's right. You guys actually told me there's something I missed. A really funny scene with, um, Miwako and Yor... Or, not Yori, uh, uh, Natsuno, uh, when I was controlling, uh, Miura... Uh, a while back where uh i got i gotta see it wait hold on can i see it here is it actually possible for me to hop there yeah i can yes this one all right so it's apparently something really funny with uh miyuko here when we get the picture if i walk away instead of going straight there what's going on between you and that guy huh nothing's going on just a normal casual friendship <gasps> Casual? You mean... No. Not that. <laughs> <laughs> Casual fucking. Is that it? Oh, I guess that is it. I actually thought Miyuko was going to freak out about, like, the picture. Like... No, no, I'm going <laughs> to... Why don't you make me show the picture? Cute. Hey, what's up, girl? There's really nothing you can do about it. Do about what? You know, your... Condition. <laughs> My head. Damn it. Don't run out of fucking pills again. Girl! Look, it's Goto Senpai. Hey, Sumi kun oh, You're alright. I'm relieved. He's so hot. <sighs> Student Not Council again, elections senpai. are coming up. What? He's running for president, right? I've already asked really? you to stop That's making amazing. fun of me. I'm Kurabe. And handsome. Kurabe. Everything a girl could want. Goto Senpai. Apologies, Kurabe. You can go ahead. Get out of here, Juro. You fucking weirdo. What was that about? <clears throat> Kurabe? But he's Izumi kun. I don't know. <laughs> this is the tenth time we've had this conversation, Ryoko. Karabe? Explain. You have the wrong person. That's not possible. I wouldn't mistake him for someone else. <sighs> there are certain things you're better off not knowing. Damn it, just tell me. Juro Izumi doesn't exist anymore. He's Juro Karabe now. His mind could not withstand the battle. He had to be turned into someone else. There is no chance of recovery. My head. Oh, God damn it. It hurts. 
Ah, please tell me not out of pills. Uh, is this it? Yeah, yeah. Remember. See Ryoko without her bandages on. She's around here. Where? The building on the left. The drone spotted them 20 minutes ago. Going into that building. Can you not find them? What's this taking place? When they recruit her or something? We finally meet. You're Ryoko Shinonome san, right? Who are you? I'm Juro Izumi, and I need your help. We're going to save the world with that robot. Huh. I'm not exactly sure when this took place. Got one new event archive. Uh, Sentinel pilot Jura Izumi. Oh, this is actually just before the, the teacher and student. Is this is actually her first event. It is the very first event. In office building thrown to panic. This is in sector two. From Kaiju's arrival, Ryoko Shinome calls out for her missing friends. A terrifying Kaiju glares at her through the high rise window, but before she comes to any harm, she's saved by the pilot of Sentinel number 13. I see. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't even realize. This teacher and student event happened in 2064. I thought it was 1985 as well. When he talked, to, when she talked to uh, Tetsuya Ida, this was in 2064 before they got destroyed by the kaiju. I think the, the idea behind these sets of characters here and the sets of the events they set here, and why, like, for example, why is it that I, when I say Ryoko Shinome, I don't get the 2188 version that stretches to the start. I believe all of this is contained within a single loop. So, like, from this point onward, we aren't like looping back again right this isn't like a loop ago before the the city was uh, the city wasn't destroyed and then gets destroyed then we loop back again right this is this loop this is before 20 in 2064 i guess they managed to, to hold off the kaiju they start working together uh oh then the sentinel infection thing happens then the city gets destroyed she gets moved to 1984 yeah yeah this is all within one loop that's why i don't get some of these earlier events right even with juror izumi uh seemingly not necessarily becoming crazy ease of me but all these other versions of him right i think that's why they they set it up this way helps piece things together a little bit better than if they had actually had included it so i think it's not a bad idea maybe at some point they will maybe they actually will like add like it once the loop mechanic gets explained this will actually up update again and actually include that information which would be interesting i think it actually be really cool if they did uh, like oh this is Rio Shinonome from a few loops ago actually i would i would love that if they did so this is exactly the same Ryoko Shinome as the one we're controlling right this moment. This is not from some time ago or a previous loop. Actually, they probably won't though. I don't think they'll update this because in reality, what what number of events actually are there that happened from multiple loops ago? There's not that many. There's like just these few up here, right? Just a few of them. And then once you get like to right here, everything beyond is basically all within this one loop. So it really wouldn't be a whole lot of purpose to doing it. And let's just to clarify just some of the really early events, like how many loops ago could this have possibly been? So this is basically when she gets recruited for this. Um, I'm not really sure what, they, they picked her for a reason, right? They're picking all these people for a specific reason. And I don't think we really know what that is yet. Aside from the fact that they all clearly had some influence at the start of the game in this 2188, right? We did see that Ryoko and that one message 
apparently is the one responsible for causing this whole kaiju problem, right? Because she was pissed off at Tetsuya Ida. We don't have the full details for it, but... And that's why she freaks out about it. Um, all right, complete shoot. Shu Amaguchi's a Spectre Reborn. <coughs> okay, which one was that? That was actually a while ago. To restore Tomi Kisaragi to her original body, Tetsuya Ida attempted to extract information from 426, but 426 tricked him and took over Kisaragi instead. Okay. All right, well, let's uh, keep going with her then. Back in bed. Yep. Do, 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 do. Are you all right? I feel fucking great. Let's go. There's Jura again. Uh. Oh, he still did that again. Okay. Um. Wait. New thing. Where is it? Four two six. No, none of them. Oh God damn it! What? Now what? I don't know. Surveillance footage. I don't have that yet. Do I gotta get back to the cafeteria? Chased by Kisaragi taking the last... Yeah, okay. That's if I run out of pills. Do I get to the cafeteria, maybe? Uh, he's so hot! Uh, <laughs> uh, why do I have to be so popular? Who do I talk to? Or do I gotta figure out how to get back to the cafeteria again? Exit the hallway. Oh, I gotta, I gotta run away. I gotta leave Goto. Hey, uh, distract him again. All right, bye. Uh, uh, wait, whoa. Oh. Maybe that didn't work. Oh wait, oh wait, that's right. I got to I got I got to do it with with her. It's been a while since I've done hers. Okay, take the pills. I think I I don't run out of pills as long as Goto's with me. Okay, now I run away. Okay, cafeteria. Just go. Senpai? Ignore. Take the pills. Uh, go to the cafeteria. How do I get there? Fucking go. Oh man, am I screwed? No way. There we go. All right. <laughs> Gamma issue. I know we had a moment together at some point, but it's fine. Empty. I think actually, if I remember correctly, it was like really weird. Like this, isn't this already after the moment with the thing with Shu? Like this actual moment here with, with where, she, cause like I pass out and he takes me back to the infirmary and we actually have already gone through his ending that ended on the cliffhanger. Yeah, look, see this shit has actually happened. This happened in, in her route. We've already gone through the ending where they like transport off somewhere. Yeah, actually, I, I guess I'm not gonna get that in this route. I, actually, I would have said I would see it in Yuki's route then, but I've already finished hers. But there's always the possibility I could flash back, right? I guess they're done selling. That girl. Wait. It's um Damn it! Uh oh, I'm fucked now. I took the last pill. God, this is the problem with this one. It's like if you. <sighs> You run out of pills before you finish the thing. You're kind of fucked, right? So I gotta get to whatever this event is. Empty. Shut up. Just talk to her. That girl. Shinonome, what are you doing? What? Those black suits. They're looking for you. For me? <sighs> Who are you? What are you talking about? I'm an undercover agent for the SIU too. Did you forget that already? Sorry, undercover agent? I can't go on. My head feels like it's splitting. Four Eyes has something on you. That's why you've been forced into being a spy for him? Four Eyes? Tetsuya Ida from the Special Investigations Unit. Uh, Mr. Ida? But why would he... My, come on. You really don't remember? What about when we shifted back here in the science room? Can you remind me? <laughs> yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Oh, this is the problem with Ryoko's. Is like I feel like you actually legitimately have to move quickly 
or your head will explode <laughs> or and it resets you there's like just like a few of these moments right the thing with like yori and the the crepes and or and the cat and the shit like that and then like the ones with ryoko are a little i legitimately like you're progressively getting worse as you're talking to people and they're like reading out their lines so you literally have to go through as quickly as possible which is kind of weird right i'm not sure why they decided to do it that way like i like the idea that you're you have to take your your pills at a certain time oh here it is! <laughs> this is the event I was looking for. What in the hell? Sakura High, Sector Four. Continuation of Shu's event. The first one you set up, the gate in the science room. Omiguchi's not here. Shit, we left him. Tell me the truth, Mister Ida. Am I just being used? Yes, I've told you that ten you times. Mean? Then I don't care. <sighs> but you having feelings for another girl? Oh God! I can't accept that. Oh Jesus Christ! Mr. Ida, you were just going to throw us aside like nothing. Also, you could have a do-over with her. Shinonome Kun, just take a breath. This is all a big misunderstanding. Ever since I saw the recordings from the lab, I can't take it. <sighs> You're confused. You need to take your pills and calm down. I've made my decision. I know what I have to do. Stun mode deactivate. <gasps> Wait, Shinonomekun. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. Oh, fuck! Boom! Holy shit, did she just straight sh fucking murder that guy? She murdered the shit out of Tetsuya Ida? So, do you remember now? No, there's no way. I shot him? Yep, then you booked it out of there. Anyways, Four Eyes wasn't budging. Oh, fuck! I had no choice but to call in the black suits. Is Mr. Ida... Is he okay? How would I know? I haven't had any contact with him since. No. Shit. I couldn't have. Well, it's hard to imagine he's okay after that. Might even be dead. I still don't really understand. Why'd you do it? I saw a recording. A recording of what? No, stop. I don't want to remember. No more. I don't want to. It's too late. Uh, oh, here we go. Show me. Time. I need to hurry. The truth. I need to find as much as I can today. So when, when, when did this happen? This is not the what I, I was thinking with the BJ recording. Where did I leave off? Accessing Mr. Ida's research. Okay, log three, two, one, four, and the next one is. Damn, is he just dead then? No. Research on AI. Actually, I don't think he is dead. I don't think he is. Because A has been communicating with him. And I'm almost positive this shit has happened after that. That shit was super late in the timeline. No, he's not dead. So that's going to take place right around here, right? Where he got shot to fuck. And then A stuff happens down here. And he's definitely communicating with uh, with uh, Ida on the walkie-talkie. Uh, nah, he's not dead. The data's gone. But he might have been fucked up. <laughs> just ends here check the final log the most recent log is from three years ago show me Anything more recent than that has been deleted beep boop beep eat this bitch boom ah fuck die arnold 
Good thing I had my gun. Let me touch you, Ryoko. You're so cute. Stupid pervy Arnold bots. That's weird. They shouldn't have been able to get in. I locked the passageway door behind me. The surveillance camera. Maybe there's something on there. I'm not sure if you know why these guys are running about either. This is like part of the decode infecting these dudes. The research logs have been erased. I won't find anything. Oh, here we go. Surveillance footage. Surveillance footage from when I came here last. Found it. Hmm. Morimura and Renya Goto have been here a few times. So they're the ones that opened the passageway. Okay. Maybe if I keep going back through the footage, I'll find out who deleted the locks. Oh boy. Going further back. Oh shit. for having to use this body. I did not anticipate that 426 would take yours from you. I'm sorry. Okay, all right, cool. Finally, we're getting the follow-up. We're finally seeing what happened after that. 426, stealing Kisaragi's body. What happened afterwards? Clearly, he did not kill Ida. You made that body just for me. No, I'm the one who let my guard down. I'll make you another right away. You should make bodies for the others, instead of me. Yes, well, unfortunately, they no longer need bodies. Because of the Sentinels? So you're aware. Oh. You're going to trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the compatible. Oh. Oh. Okay. Trick the UFO into thinking it's being controlled by the compatible. Is that why they're, they're AI versions of like Miura and, and some others seemingly being put into the Sentinels? We still haven't had an explanation for that either. Like why are there AI versions of them? So he's trying to trick the UFO and the UFO actually requires this? So he's a part of the game? By putting our bodyless friends into the Sentinels. That's right. Although I'm still unsure how successful we will be. The UFO is not easily deceived. Then put me into a sentinel too. Don't be ridiculous. If you're discovered, you'll be removed as a foreign entity. It's too risky. Miura and Hijiyama can handle it. They lived as humans in an era of war anyway. Iku, look at me. I'm not Tomi Kisaragi anymore. But if I transfer you into this world's Tomi Kisaragi, Everything will be back to normal. My research has been progressing. You'll be able to come back. No. Absolutely not. How could you even consider it? She's still me. Sacrificing someone so I can take their place. I could never forgive you for that, Iku. Tell me. Please. Put me into a sentinel. I'll think about it. Anyway, I need to make some adjustments. He makes her into the idol. I'm gonna shut off the power for now. Or the older Tomi Kisaragi, right? That goes into space for some reason. Why can't you see? The only person I want to save is you. I don't care who has to die for it. None of this means anything if you're not here. It's just as he said. If I had just put her in another body from the start, yeah, none of this would have happened. Her original consciousness data is still in the UFO. No. Yeah. What if we just start over from the beginning? Ooh. Oh. 
Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Here we go. From that day. Then I can transfer her data into the new Tomi Kisaragi. Oh. She'd never have to know. We just need to reset things. It'll all be better that way. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. There it is. There it is. There it is. We found it, guys. Right fucking there. This is it. This is the core of Tetsuya Ida's motivations. This is why he doesn't want to break the loop. He can't. No, we got to do this again. We got to go back because he fucked up, right? He fucked up by putting Tomiki Saragi in this android. And basically, now she's become her own person, right? And she's like, I don't put me in my old body. I don't want you to do that. If you do that, I'll never forgive you, right? You're basically robbing this other girl of her life, right? We're not the same person anymore. And he's like, well, I could go back maybe and still get the... I could just go back and get... I could get uh, Tommy's original stuff from the UFO. But he's like, no, I... She's still no, right? Like, I'd still... She'd still be angry. I can't erase this one. I don't want to erase this one myself. No, instead what we're going to do is... We're just going to... We're just going to die. We're just going to die like we've done before. We're all just going to fucking fail. And we're going to loop back to the beginning again. Except for him, probably. He wants to escape the loop. And he'll come back as himself. And then it, it's all right. Because everybody's dead. And he'll just he'll just do what he, what he meant to do the first time. What he should have done the first time. Oh, fuck. Wow. Holy shit, man. Takatoshi's unlocked, baby. Wow. But we finally got it. Holy shit, dude. Wow, that's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's fucked up, but it's... I love that. I love that I, I couldn't figure out what his... Fully what his motivations were until that one moment. And then suddenly it all becomes clear. All that's important is you. Fuck everybody else. They can all demon die for all I care. I wonder if I ever figure out why Kisaragi uh, bought with uh, Juro. Juro's personality had had part of her leg missing. The thing is, though, like, there was no way that Ida, I think, could have known that he could have put her mind into a human body, right? I think he didn't want to risk it because he didn't know for certain that that was even possible. Then he got the clarification from Juro, and he's like, oh, yeah, that's possible. You probably should have done that with her. Fuck, man. Wow. That's why I actually realized that it, would, it wouldn't have let me see this, see this event until I saw this one, which is actually good. I think that's really good that you would see this one before this one. This game is so expertly like crafted and put together. It's insane, right? They know the best way for certain, like certain scenes you can see in any order, right? But other ones are like, no, you definitely got to see this one before you see this one. You got to see Kisaragi's body can get taken by, uh, by Juro before you see this this final bit that finally explains the entire idea behind Tetsuya Ida's motivations. Fuck, man. For the full impact, right? I love it, dude. I love this game. This game's great. And, okay, the surveillance footage. Uh, oh. At the outer walls. And she's over in sector one. She investigates the data at the underground facility. Rikers, she knows if some of the data has been erased. Find what erased the logs, checks the facility's surveillance footage. Goodbye, Mr. Ida. So she shoots the fuck out of him, but he's not dead. He's not dead, I don't think. Unless his body's dead in his fucking brain somewhere else. Wow, I am shocked. I am kind of shocked, though, that she just straight, like, fuck. She's like, no, fuck this. You you're go you were going after this girl, and I'll fuck you. Just shoots the shit out of him. Boom. Straight murders him. Or attempts to murder him. But look at look at this. See, like, this didn't happen that long after this, and Yuki's like, girl, you just straight murdered this guy. Why are you walking around so casually? Don't you remember? It's, it's really interesting, too, because it shows that even the Ryoko that wasn't, that isn't this version of Ryoko, right, is a vengeful fucking frigid bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Right? When she saw that message from her, of herself having uh, basically set all this into motion, right? And then in this where she's like, I don't care that you're using me or using everybody else, but I can't have you loving some other girl. Fuck you, Ida. Boom! <laughs> Shoots the shit out of him. That's the only thing she had problem with. That's all she gave a fuck about. Wow. Ooh. And Cash is even like, I mean, Yoko's one of the chosen and she's helping save the world now, but man, I don't know, girl. Can I still control her? Uh, oh, yes, I can. Okay, I can see her last event. 
But more importantly, Takatoshi, you're free! Finally! It only took 34 years. But let's go ahead and finish off Ryoko's. Let's see what her, how hers comes to an end. Ryoko Shinomi may recall the time she bid farewell to Tetsuya and shot him in the fucking face. He was trying to reset the world in order to, in order to save Tomiki Saragi. Yes. Okay, now I've got the surveillance footage that I can show here. Shinonome-san? Uh, there it is. Surveillance footage? That's right. I saw something important. <sighs> I can't remember. Maybe I should go look again. It was in Shikishima's underground facility in 2105. I just need to get to the gate. We can't though. The gate's locked off, right? I think that was something that was this thing that A did. Oh, gate. Said the gate's been sealed, but what if it's a lie? A way to try and keep me uh, here. Uh, uh, is it? Uh, Oh, yes, I can. Okay, good. Yeah, fuck you. Going to the gate. Did I actually get away from him? I guess I did. I guess Goto didn't follow me this time. Surveillance footage? Oh, I saw something important. Show me. Where's my gun? You won't be able to use it. I knew it. Now she locked it. It was you. You disabled the gates, not 426. Stop being ridiculous. You need to take your pills. I won't let those damn mind-controlling pills screw with my head anymore. Who told you that? I saw it for myself. You're trying to mess with both me and Iori Fuyusaka's heads. She's getting worse. The code that infected the Sentinels in 2064. It separates the nanomachines from the rest of your brain. Your memories will keep disappearing. Those pills you've been taking, they inhibit that separation. They try to preserve the link. But its effectiveness has been gradually decreasing. No, I won't believe anything you say. Where's Renya Goto? Are you screwing him up too? It was you, you know. <gasps> you were the cause of the infection. <gasps> what? Oh my god, are you serious? You inserted the code that 426 created. No, just more lies. It's true. Goto. Goto! Oh my god. Oh my god. This girl's just been fucking everything up. Jesus Christ. I think I'm starting to learn the moral of this. You know what the moral of the story is? Is that everything is Ryoko's fault. You were conspiring with Morimura this whole time? I've told you the truth a number of times. But you weren't able to accept it. Mm. You couldn't hold on to the memory. Wow. That's a lie. You messed me up with those pills. You made me confused. It's all there. You just have to remember. The code that infected the Sentinels. DD-426. You were the one that gave it to Sekigahara. You're lying. Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Why? Why? Why would you, why? Why would you do that? Oh, god damn it. It's fucking... Mr. Ida. For you to ask for me personally, I can't tell you how happy it made me. Whatever, just get in the fucking robot. I've been waiting. I need you to look at this. In 
an inner Lasseter update? Code DD426. The nanomachines within you. There is a flaw in the program. It is inhibiting you from unlocking the full extent of their power. <gasps> but there exists a code to fix it. No. A flaw? No. If we implement this, the Sentinel's capabilities will increase greatly. No, it isn't her fault. I mean, it, I mean, it is, but no, Tetsu. Te it was. It was Tetsuya Ida. I was fucking right. I was fucking right. Even though I, I think that, like, I was sort of basing it off of the conversation that he had with A, and it seemed like that he, they were planning it together. A was not aware of this either. He definitely wasn't. No. Tetsuya Ida undermined this entire thing because he wants them to fail so they can restart. He wants them all to just, all right, we're all just going to fucking die. Except for himself, of course. So that we can do it again. Holy shit. Oh my god, you suck, dude. Fuck you! Mori Morrison, however, does not agree. Why? She believes the Sentinels are more than capable as they are. Oh god. Ugh. Why is she like that? Oh, I I know God! She's always going against you, Mr. Ida. Oh fuck, dude. Was as understanding as you. This manipulative sack of shit. Oh Jesus. You know, up to this point, I wasn't entirely certain that he was really trying to manipulate her. Like, it just seemed like she was just had this ridiculous infatuation with him, and he was just kind of like, "All right, come on, calm down." No, he he absolutely is aware of it and making use of it. I want us to give this code a try. His control over her. It'll be our little secret, of course. And then Mori Morasan will see who was right. All you have to do is put this code into the Sentinel. Okay, I'll do it. Oops. An improvement to the Sentinel, huh? What could go wrong? Ryoko san, what was Ida talking to you about? Nothing that concerns you. Guess I'm still just some kid that lives nearby, huh? Akon. A fourth wave is approaching. We need to get ready. I'll put DD426 into number 14. Or... I'll put it into number 15. Akun Sentinel. Mr. Ida's right. And now, Akun will know it too. Oh, God. Wait. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So, wait, Miura's is 14, right? No, 14 was her Sentinel. Yeah, A's was 15 at that time, and hers was 14. So she put it into, when she put it into A's like that, they, it looked like it originally, wait. No, I think she put it into, she, it makes it like she put it into her own and to, to A's, but it, they all thought it came, came from A's Sentinel, right? I think, it, no, I think originally he wanted to look like uh, Ryoko did this, right? Like he wanted to pin the blame, but instead it, it actually ended up pinning the blame on A. Do you remember? After you shifted, you went missing. It took a long time to get you back. When we finally did, your condition was already terminal. We've been able to keep it at bay with the medication, but the destruction of your memories has already begun. For you, we tried to reinforce your memories with nanomachines, but it hasn't gone well. As you can see. We thought if we let you roam free, that your memories would stabilize. However, your memories kept failing. It only made you become further detached from reality. Even still. Fuck you, die, bitch! It is imperative that you remember. Only you can clear the infection within the Sentinels. Oh. Because only you know the password. Oh, fuck! We don't have much time. Please, you must remember. 
Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Oh, my God. That's why they've been treating her differently. That's why they didn't give her a new personality like Jura. That's why I was like, I was like, this girl is losing her fucking mind. Why are they just doing with her what they did with Juro? Because she's the only one that has the password to this thing. We're all going to die, bitch. Remember, you did this to us. It's always your fault, Ryoko. Okay. You're awake. Who are you? Oh. I'll try and remember. Aikun? That's right. I. I can't remember my name. Ryoko Shinonome. Is that my name? It doesn't sound familiar. Oh, right. I need to find. What was I looking for again? I can't remember. You don't have to anymore. You don't have to look for anything, Ryoko-san. Oh. More importantly, how are you feeling? I feel... good. Refreshed. Peaceful, even. <sighs> Maybe it's just not possible. The nanomachines linked to her memory have all separated. She barely has any memories left. <sighs> the memories you implanted in her. What are they? We did the same for all of you. When you were connected to the learning devices, you gained the knowledge needed to control the sentinels and the gates. Those memories were backed up in case there was an accident. So she has her memories of what happened before the incident. No, not all of them. We only backed up those which pertain to learning. So all she knows is how to control the Sentinel. Oh. Ryoko-san. The password to remove the infection. Gone, along with the rest of her memories. We can no longer rely on the Sentinels. So that's it? You're giving up? There is still one way to use the Sentinels. No. A further exposure to the infection. And there's no guarantee you'll survive. He's not talking about himself. After everything you've taken from her, it still isn't enough. I won't let you put her in the Sentinel. No. No, Akun. Sentinel number 14. It was made just for me by Mr. Ida. It's my Sentinel. Ryoko-san. I won't let anyone else fight for me. Jeez, man. Oh, we. Damn. Oh, wow. Fuck. It's brought to light. Oh, man. That was a... That was a rough one, man. Wow. Fuck, man. That was... Jesus. This game is something else, guys. Wow. Wow! How they brought that around of, like, now I'm, like, now at the end, I'm actually, like, I feel really fucking bad for this girl. This girl is so, like messed up and that that's the reason why they've been trying to do this they've been trying to get that password from her but it's just it's no use right she's and now she doesn't even remember she barely remembers a she just barely remembers who she is the only thing she knows what to do the only thing she understands at this point is how to, to pilot the sentinel that's all she has anymore so that's all she can do oh man that's a that's a super sad ending to her story Ooh, wee man fuck it was you 
Truth of the Matter, Shatter Memories. Still actually have a few more down here that I may, I guess, will unlock. Maybe if I progress through the, the battles or something. Oh, fuck you, dude. DD426 contamination. No, 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 no. So she did. She, do, she does as she's asked, but rather than installing it to her own Sentinel, she installs it to number 15. No, she, just number 15. It, okay. That's why they think it was... Okay. But that's not actually, I think, what uh, Tessita expected, right? He wanted her to do it to her own, so then she would get the blame. Fuck, man. Man. Wow. Tessita, you fucking suck, dude. Jeez. How far are you willing to go for your own selfish ambitions? I fight for myself. This this last one. Seeks into the empty Sentinel hangar and activates Sentinel number 14, which is given to her by Mr. Ida. This actually happens a fair amount after uh, Iori and Juro start their fight, right? Oh, man. <laughs> that was really sad, man. Holy crap. That was super sad. It was given to her by Mr. Ida, who she doesn't even realize betrayed her. Or, you know, she's already forgotten about all that. Oh, fuck, man. That it kind of messed me up. Oh, uh, wait. You're forgetting about the damn mystery files. So what we got? Okay, Shinomi discovers Ida's true feelings and motive from watching surveillance footage in the underground facility in 2105. Realizing that Ida is attached only to Kintomi Kisaraki and has no intention of saving Shinonome and the others, Shinonome fi finally loses her patience and ends up shooting and killing Ida. Supposedly. Blinded by her feelings towards Ida, Shinonome falls for his trick and adds DD-426 to A. Sekihara's Sentinel. During the 2064 battle, DD-426 infects, infects the Sentinel and Jurokurabe Sekihara and Shinonome suffer brain damage. Shinonome went missing for some time after the Force Shift, losing her memories to a point where she couldn't even remember her own name. The only thing she does remember is that Ida chose her for Sentinel number 14. Murmur tries everything to get the password to contaminate the Sentinels from her, but ends up failing. When the Kaiju appear in 1985, Shinonome activates Sentinel number 14 with her memories of Ida on her mind. You're seeing how we didn't get any more information for 2188 version though. Tetsuya Ida. Ida seeks to translate the simulated personality of the revived Kisaragi android into the physical body of the current Kisaragi, but she rejects the idea. He then realizes that he should have transplanted Kisaragi into the living body of the current Kisaragi to begin with, instead of reviving her as an android first. For that reason, he aims to reset the world and begin anew. Good lord. Oh, DD-426. Oh, my shit. DD-426 is the program code that Tetsuya Ida gives to Ryoko Shinome, supposedly to greatly increase the Sentinel's capabilities. Shinome ends up installing it into a Sekigahara Sentinel. The nanomachine equivalent of a virus that attacks the brain is severs a portion of the nanomachine that is physically connected to the cerebral cortex, which handles memory. As the connections get severed, the brain suffers damage, causing severe pain and memory loss. In the worst cases, the inflicted are left as mindless husks. Upon discovering this program, code could be used to sever the Daimos code. Tsukasa Kino tested the code on himself one year ago. However, he suffered gradual memory loss, so he had no choice but to become an AI with a simulated personality. What? Wait, what? Uh, 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 oh, right, right, right. And that's how he ended up fixing himself. So this program, this program code could be used to sever the Dino, Daimos code. So, okay. Tsukasa came to thought he could actually use this potentially to stop things, but nope, it didn't work. Murima and Ren Nagoda tried to get Shinomi to remember the password that disables 426, but it results in failure and caused her to lose all of her memories. 2064 Kaiju Invasion. The cause of this defeat was the 4DD426 that Shinomi put into Sekigahara Sentinel. You have doomed us all, Goku! You have doomed us all! Perhaps if you try to just hop into one of these after it's already been completed. Can I hop around wherever I want? I guess I can, I guess I can just kind of go if I need to just like repeat any one of these. Just kind of curious because I don't think I tried yet. Oh my god. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that shit was rough. I need some, I need some battles. I need to get in a battle. I need to drown my feelings in a merciless slaughter of kaiju. That'll help make me feel better. Ah, uh, okay. He GM on the strike team. Clear that sentinel being immobilized. Face a horde of modified interior kaiju. Oh my god. Uh, S rank century gun, bonus objective Yakisobi Pan. Oh, thank God. The evasion ends here. Need some of that Yakisobi Pan lore. Max out these fucking demolisher blades. Uh, all right. I think this looks good. Boom. Hey, Jiyama kun I'm sorry I called you simple. You really are reliable. Always have been. Okino, where's this coming from? I keep calculating.
calculating and recalculating, and I always get the same result. I wish it was different, but you deserve to know. I measured the rate of incoming kaiju, and we can't win. There's zero chance of surviving until tomorrow. A physical impossibility. Man, fuck that, Okino. <sighs> we failed. It doesn't matter if we fight back. Our window is gone. It's over. If you don't want to tell the others, then I understand. You understand nothing? Is that who you think I am? That I'll just give up simply because I'm told to? I'm not just fighting for my own survival. You know it's more than that. Hijiyama-kun. Goddamn right, Hijiyama. Doctor, she's like, no, fuck your, fuck your odds. I'll break those odds and break my limits. Your calculations don't factor in the power of the human heart. <laughs> okay, Jack and stick it down a little bit, man. No, fuck you. Her like to her bark. Throw those sentry guns down. Fuck them up. <laughs> they don't take into account the power of this level eight sentry gun. Or go to those insane fucking interceptors. Be to put on a show, but you can chat. All right. You shall not pass. They don't stand a chance. Man, we've got it rough. Okay, there's the big, thick, thick dickhead. He thinks he can stop me. You better Come guess on. again, asshole. Boom. Always, think, Always ahead. think ahead. Holy shit, there's two of them. Two. Oh my god. Remember these guys used to be a boss fight? They're like, nah, all right. Now it's two. Here's, here's two of them back to back right next to each other. And probably a whole bunch more. Ooh, I wonder if I can gravity missile them and just keep them inside the flare torpedo. Stay there. You stay in that flare torpedo. Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Oh my god, that is uh, surprisingly effective. That is doing some damage. All right, one over here. Oh my god, look at the holy shit. Oh damn, that actually is working really well. They're just getting damaged, not by, also by the century, but the fact it's just staying in that spot. That's amazing, I love it. I'm a genius. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't think of that before. All right, now I got these dickheads to worry about. <laughs> Boom. Drop them. Break your limits. <laughs> Go all out. Power. Takatoshi, you're next. Fuck him up, Takatoshi. Uh, oh my god, such a pretty overkill. Is that all? Stay right the fuck there. That's right, land right into an, that fucking flare torpedo. I wonder if I can stack these on top of each other for like additional damage. I seemingly can. Here, have another. What's the plan? Oh my god. Melt before my might. Bring him down. What next? Alright, see if you can take out two of these guys at once. Uh, you bet your sweet ass you can. Blast them. Kick him. Uh, uh. Again, none of the guys I have on first gen here have the MP move. I took it off. Starting to wish I hadn't done that. Bring him down again. Fuck you. Uh. Bow down. Punch it. Shit! Damn it! Fucking mine over there must have gotten him. Fuck! Ah, shit! I've lost my S rank then because of that shit. Boom! Die! All right. Let's see if I uh still manage to get an S rank or not.
<laughs> if you didn't shoot me twice. Oh, I knew I recognized you. You're the yucky soba pound guy. Always wandering around school with one of them in your hand. <laughs> Takatoshi-san, is this really how they know you here? I, uh, well, you see, to protect the homeland. I must eat spaghetti and bread. Fuck all of you, okay? It's the greatest shit ever. Everyone all right. Yeah, I don't want to hear shit from you, Mira. You and your hamburger. Jesus Christ, Iori. You're in your freaking sentry guns. Just mowing them down. Uh, Renya Goto. Optimally efficient. Uh... Yeah! All right, good. Thank God. Seriously, I got hit one time. And it knocked him down to, to zero, pretty much. Yakisoba pot. Yes, good. More Mr. Points. I'm pretty sure by this point I have... Uh, I've gotten as many Mr. Points as I'm going to need to get the remaining files in this game. I'm already barely getting any, any file, new files as it is. These are just updates to the ones I currently have. Sentry gun, the best move in the whole game. Second generation sentinel support equipment automatically targets kaiju and attacks them. It cannot move itself, but uses its four legs to plant itself firmly in position when placed. This increases its stability to the point where it can easily absorb the recoil from the triple rail gun. Yakisoba pa, oh yeah. I don't know, man, it looks kind of weird, honestly. It, just say, having spaghetti and bread, I mean, if we think about it though, I mean, come on, you have bread with spaghetti all the time, right? So this is just basically the same thing, but in sandwich form. A processed food that combines sweet and salty yakisoba with a slightly sweet hot dog bun. Takatoshi Hijiyama's favorite thing to eat ever. Because he once let a, let a yakisoba pong go to waste after a puck knocked it from his hands, he decided the proper etiquette is to enjoy somewhere alone so that no one can interfere. Megumi Yakisiji blessed Hijiyama with her yakisoba pong. When she happened to pass by, she was about to collapse from hunger. This is the moment Yakisoba Pond became Hijiyama's favorite th favorite food, as well as the reason he started calling Yakisiji the Yakisoba Pond Angel. I would die for you. God damn it, Yakisiji, I'm trying to give you my love. Please stop shooting me. God, super large missile maxed out does 10,200 damage. Good Lord. But unfortunately, I also have to wait 12 seconds after using it. Well, all right, guys. I think this is uh, probably as good of a place as any to end things here for now. Uh, damn, man. I really enjoyed actually Ryoko's ending and that like that realization for so many so many people here not not just her but also Tetsuya Ida and his motivations and uh the truth behind the whole 426 thing right that was actually not Jiro Izumi's doing it was his I mean, it's funny that I actually sort I sort of guessed it was him but not for the really the right reasons I, I just took it as wasn't that what they were talking about with A and, and himself but I don't think it was that probably have to go back and rewatch that scene to get sort of a more of a clarification of what what they were even doing like they no, th th no the point was they were working together right they were already working together because they had already set up that deal together right he's like I can help you you got to help me though undermine Murray Mura I'm not sure if he actually indicated though that he was doing that through 426 right I think <laughs> I gotta I, I, I gotta rewatch that fucking scene again Seki Yohara asks Ida about Operation Aegis, expressing doubts about the Sentinel System updates he'd been asked to do. That, that right there. What Sentinel System updates is he referring to? I don't think that's what what, what uh, Ryoko did, right? Because that's something that she did that was unbeknown seemingly to Seki Yohara. So what did A do? Is it just something we haven't uncovered yet? Maybe it is. I don't know. If it's something that is, has already been clarified by this point, do let me know in the comments, all right? If it's something that hasn't been, though, don't don't tell me. But yeah, because I am curious, and I'm actually a little confused by... I kept thinking that that was the 426 thing, and seeing that as it came from his Sentinel, right? That's why I was so confused about it. But uh, yeah, uh, let me know. Unless, it, unless it's something that hasn't been revealed. 
Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. If you're not ready to become a picky penguin aboard the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.